Now, I want to know, what did you each see in Penny and Dodge that you felt these guys were worthy of spending the end of the world with? Um, in playing Penny, do you mean? Or yeah, what did Penny see in Dodge? No, what did you see what in did Penny? I, did see? I want to be Penny. I want to be more like Penny. I think that what, what I loved about her is that she's so incredibly positive. It's like she's, she's one of those people, she gets very emotional, clearly it's the end of the world, I think that's understandable, but she's completely able in the next second to go, wow, the sun's shining and this is amazing. She's incredibly present and totally, yeah, totally able to go, this bit's brilliant. And I'd love to be more than that, more like that, because I, I think very often I go, oh God, I'm miserable, but I don't actually go, wow, I'm really happy. And that's such a wonderful quality to have, I thought. I think so too. Yeah. I think Dodge is sort of the opposite. He's. I don't want to be like Dodge because he's uh, he just lives his life in regret, and uh, and that's not certainly not how I would want to live my life, um, and I try not to. So I try to use his life as an example as how not to live. <laughs> well, when you're on the precipice of something as huge as the end of the world, which mm -hmm. is, I mean, the end all, be all, and you think about that, I mean, does that make you walk outside and kind of look at the sunset a little bit differently? I mean, does it make you look at everything just with sort of a different take on life? Well, you know what? what? I think that informed the whole movie. And, mm. and it's, it's interesting to be in a movie with that subject matter because that just hangs over you. And it, you, know, you sort of do take it home in a good way because you think, well, there is a finality to everything, you know, whether it's three weeks, whether it's 50 years. And, um, and to be able to carry that in a very positive way in terms of how to live your life and to to you know sample the the richness to it. I think that's it's a nice message in my mind. No, I think so too. And I watching the last couple of your movies, I realized that the idea of a soulmate or somebody that you truly love in life has been kind of a running theme through some of these movies. I'm wondering why is that so important for you in what you do in terms of your art? Yeah, I guess I never really thought about it, but you're right. It it has been sort of a recurring theme and and even in terms of something like 40-year-old virgin, it's you know, ostensibly about a guy losing his virginity, but I think more than that, it was about him finding someone. Um, I think it's, I, I don't know, I guess it's important to me. Uh, in, my, in my life, you know, I've, I've been married for quite a long time, and I was able to find that person who just f filled it out for me, you know, and, and made, helped me sort of make sense of it all, and I think um, I don't know, maybe, maybe in a way because I was able to find that it's, it's an important theme. Well, this is a much more adult take on the idea of the world ending, and I'm wondering what do you hope people who may be afraid that this is actually going to happen in December come into this movie and take away from it? and Because like, it gives a little bit of hope for people that truly believe something like this can happen. I'm wondering what do you think or hope people take away from the experience? I, I, don't, I, I think it, it is just the positivity. I think it, it, it's the, the idea that you can have a film about the end of the world, but actually it be about what is important in life. It's, it's about not getting stuck in those kind of, those horrendous moments I think that we, we all dwell in so easily. It's about kind of going, look, it's about the people, it's about friendship, it's about love, it's about laughter, it's about joyous moments. It doesn't always have to be about doom and gloom. And, and I just, I, I found that incredibly uplifting and life affirming.